I will now show you how to go through Field Data Editor and how to actually create these extra measurements and extra target heights using the Field Data Editor inside 12D model. If I go back to Survey, Edit, Field Data, and again, select my Survey Data Reduction function, and then left click on Edit, this will now bring up the Survey Field Data Editor like we did in the previous video. I'm gonna to toggle on the hidden lines, and I might just grab the bottom left hand corner of this panel and just expand it to make it a little bit bigger. What I might do, I might run through some of the edits here. So essentially you can just click on any of these lines. If you wanna change the scale factor of the job, you can just double click on scale factor and you can type a new, a new one in if you want and simply just press apply. And that will apply the new scale factor to all the measurements inside this field data editor. If you had the wrong coordinate for a station height, so you want to edit the coordinates here, simply just double click on the, on the station you wish to edit. And this will bring up the direct coordinate input box. And you can change the X coordinate just by simply backspacing over and, and typing in the Z value or the height. You can change the code and the uh, string number and give it a point ID if you wish. And once you're happy with these changes, simply click apply. And you can do the same too for the, the prism constant. You can change the value in here if you wish. And the target height, you could go through and just click on the target height you wish to change. If we wish to insert a new target height for station 1011 here, we need to go to the next point ID, which is 1012, and then go up to insert, and just then select our new field command. So if I select on the down arrow, we can scroll through and add any of these edits to that measurement. And I'm gonna go down to station height and select this. So once I select the edit I wanna to append to this measurement at point ID 1011, I click create, and then I can type in the new station height. So I make it 1.9 and I apply this. And you can see it, the screen flash in the background. And if I go finish, you can see that it has a station target height now of 1.9 added into any measurements now below. And since it's in blue, it, it means it's been added into this field data editor. It's not part of the original. All the black lines are original. Any blue lines have been added in. Any magenta lines, as you can see here, at point ID 1026 have been edited. So if you edit an existing line, it will go magenta. If you add a new command code in, it will turn blue. If we wish to change the target height back to 1.5, again, click on, we want to change it at point ID 1018. We click on point ID 1019. Again, insert. Select the target height. It already remembers the last command we chose. Go to create and I'll put in 1.5 and apply and finish. You can see now it applies the target height of 1.5 through these points. So that's a simple way of adding target heights. And you can do the same with anything, adding curves in. If you want to add, say, a, um, an arc in, you simply just go to the point where you wish to create. So again, if I wish to add an arc through point 1030, I click on 1031, go to insert. And then if you scroll up to the top and you can go arc fitting end and arc fitting start and you can add so you would add arc fitting start here and then you'd go down somewhere here and add arc fitting end and that will produce an arc like we did before using the other edits so this is a real good way of of editing your field file basically it's just like using notepad or textpad but inside 12d and, and you, got, you can see here all the edits have changed and if i simply want to delete arc through next three points there i just delete that out there's a couple other handy little edits in here. If I click here and go insert, one of the most other common ones people use. Other than the arcs, you can make an attachment so I can add a photo in using opcode 126 here. I can make a check measurement if I wish. You can also make a PPM correction. You can make a distance correction if you have the wrong prism constant in. There's a whole bunch of different options you can choose in here. You can give it a pipe invert or pipe obvert. And the other ones that are a lot of, and they've got the target height that we used before. The other common one, 
a lot of people tend to use is making points non-tenable or segments non-tenable. So there's some handy ones in there. And also multiple coding is pretty handy too. So you can have two codes on the one point. So you can, uh, one point can be a BB, but it also can be a fence and it will create the lines joining this point at the same spot. Once we have finished editing our field data editor, I we'll click on finish. And now what we can do is go survey report and we can choose our function name and we can type out a new report here. So I can type in survey day one, paste, and I can put in final edit if I wish, and then do a report. And now this will go through and then all those reports we did in the survey data editor will be amended in here as you can see. 